Hello, my name is Angela Whitey Chan, and I've come from Britain uh, to Elefcina to do a project workshop with everyone here. Um, my research focus is on climate change. I work as an independent researcher, curator, and artist specializing in climate change. And a lot of my topics are focused on colonial histories of climate change as well as speculative fictions, data science and technologies. And so with the workshop that I'm doing here in Elefcina, it's really based on merging the analogue with the digital media that we can use to storytell the different perspectives of climate change and how our storytelling really impacts the ways that our counter narratives to mainstream stories of climate issues become a way of us self-archiving our histories, our cultures, and also our uniqueness of this experience. With this workshop, we're working with a mixture of uh, collaging and crafting activities that then become uh, merged into narratives that uh, specializes on our specific research topics as well as our personal experiences of climate and environmental changes for uh, the planet and the people. Um, so in this workshop we are using then these craft materials and different storytelling techniques to translate them onto Google Earth as a way of storytelling different journeys, whether that's of materials, peoples, cultures and changes of landscapes. And so using uh, Google Earth as a platform also is a way of disrupting uh, a big data corporation that uses our personal data in a way, how can we uh, disrupt all of this with our own personal and uh, fictitious data that we are putting as speculative stories onto the internet. And what results from this workshop is a digital sketchbook where participants are talking about their climate and environmental uh, topics in a mix of analog and digital media narratives while also having a way to geolocate and put to real locations around the world their own imaginative stories relating to climate issues. My name is Nicolas Anastasopoulos and uh, I am an associate professor at the School of Architecture at, of the National Technical University of Athens and I am um, uh, organizing the workshop uh, called Constructing Futures. Uh, the concept behind this workshop is to use the word constructing which is um, a, a daily used word in uh, uh, construction and architecture together with the word futures which defines uh, scenarios and not just one for possible futures for the city. Uh, we are using a hybrid method which uh, um, takes elements from uh, already existing methodologies like uh, appreciative inquiry, the future workshop, uh, and uh, various other uh, tools, um, interactive media, a, mi a model of the entire city um, um, with participatory processes of uh, brainstorming and uh, designing at an early stage, which is combined with um, experiential uh, stroll along the waterfront of the city and uh, various questions that uh, are addressed to the audience, most of which are members of the society coming from very different parts 
archaeologists, active uh, citizens, environmentalists, activists, and so on and so forth. Students, quite a lot. And um, I'm hoping that uh, from this very brief and condensed first workshop, um, some uh, future initiatives will be triggered that uh, may lead to something that we cannot um, think of right now. And um, I'm hoping for the best. In our uh, dialogue, we have approached the issue of water from local to global and from global to local. And uh, this is because these uh, two dimensions are very closely and dynamically interlinked. Referring to the local, we um, examined the importance of water for ellipsis from the antiquity for uh, the identity itself of Eleusis. We started discussing also uh, planet Earth and also uh, the regional level, uh, the Mediterranean. Because of the human interventions, the overpopulation, the changes in our uh, consumption, the human intervention has changed already the hydrological cycle. Uh, not only its seasonality, but also uh, the locations where we have the different phases of the cycle, evaporation, uh, precipitation, runoff, and so on and so forth, but also the circulation the, in the ocean itself. These uh, changes interlinked with the changes of climate change. The solutions of water scarcity, because we have uh, increasing frequency of extreme events. The actual approach is uh, to reduce our interventions, including also the uh, energy we use, uh, reducing the fossil fuel, uh, and reducing also and changing our consumption patterns. All these are part of uh, the uh, education but not only formal education, we are talking about formal, non-formal and informal education and awareness for the entire population, because what we need more of everything else is a change of our water culture. And I think throughout our dialogue here, the key message is that without changing our uh, water culture, we will face extremely more difficult problems. One of the ways to address the water scarcity is by using properly treated wastewaters for agriculture and for other purposes. But for the, for the major cities where we have huge quantities of uh, wastewaters, the treated wastewater could actually provide a workable solution. Um, as demonstrated also uh, during uh, the um, uh, lecture I gave uh, um, in, the, in the framework of the project of uh, Mrs. Marchetto, um, we examined also the pollution of water in the area of, the, of Eleusis and, their Im and the impact of, uh, of this uh, in the marine environment, uh, examining also uh, the sediments uh, and uh, the precipitation of uh, heavy metals and other pollutants on the uh, surface sediments of the Gulf. Um, and also uh, something optimistic is that uh, in the last uh, decades we have a reduction of this uh, pollution as uh, demonstrated by our experiments.
So my name is Panagis Marquetos. Uh, right now we have concluded uh, a workshop called The Hatchery, which uh, has been realized in the framework of Jenny Marquetos' uh, larger project called Future in Waters. Uh, their workshop ran for three days. In the first uh, day we installed uh, a theoretical framework of speculative design in which uh, Jenny, who co-coordinated the workshop with me, shared the experiences of her work in New York City and the Billion Oyster project. On the second day we invited the, and encouraged the participants who were primarily artists and architects uh, to experiment with a custom version of a concrete mixture uh, known as Tabby, whose basic uh, material is uh, oyster shells. And we invited them to create uh, artificial uh, oyster reef implants for the purposes of rewilding a specific site on the coast of the Levsina. And today, which is the concluding day, we installed the prototypes produced in the framework of this workshop into the aforementioned site for the purposes of uh, documenting uh, in time their integration and erosion in the landscape. My name is Tatiana Fedorovoulou, I'm an environmental archaeologist, which means that I am uh, trying to reconstruct uh, the relation between human communities, especially Aegean ones, with this imposing uh, natural element that is the, the sea. Uh, Jenny Marchetto invited me to contribute with this insight from the past and uh, how to connect our precious past with uh, our current uh, attitude towards coasts and marine ecosystems. We invited a group of uh, ladies from the local community. Um, the interesting thing and the, 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 the connecting thread between them was that they all had memories from the coast as uh, children uh, and uh, knew uh, how the coast looked like, also were uh, gathering shells from the coast and they all uh, outlined that this is no longer the case with their grandchildren. What we tried to do is that we um, offered some examples from the Aegean uh, prehistory and historical times through a short presentation and then invited them to uh, transfer what they saw or be inspired from to create their own artworks or even uh, utilitarian objects that could uh, bring uh, an economic and viable activity to this uh, coastal community. Uh, the second part of the workshop will involve school children from uh, local uh, summer campuses and uh, they will be invited to uh, stroll around the coast and think about how coasts look today, how they should look, um, what we find on the coast and what we should find if we do not. Uh, and make a more general reflection about how we can engage uh, to protect our uh, coastal uh, environment.
My name is Dimitri Ioannou. I am a poet uh, based in Athens. During uh, the workshop called uh, Water Time, um, we read collectively two poems, the one by uh, the contemporary American poet uh, Sandra Simons and the other uh, by C.A. Conrad. We discussed a little bit about the poems and then I asked the participants to choose some words or phrases that uh, they could uh, um, later uh, use in their own uh, uh, poems or texts. Mm. Uh, we wrote them down on the wall, on a paper, and little by little they started uh, reflecting on what is uh, water time. Uh, after selecting words or phrases from the two poems, uh, the participants associated them with the concept of water, with the meaning of water, with water substance. By the end of the workshop, uh, we, they had each one of them, had their own poem, and uh, which we uh, read uh, in front of Elefsinasi. Chronos Nero, σου πήρα μια πηξίδα, συνύπαρξη με τη θάλασσα. Θυμήσου, μάζεψε σάμο από την Ελευσίνα και την διαλογίστηκες για μια ώρα στη βλήχα που ξέχασες ότι πέθανε και κάλεσες ξανά το νερό. Wow, <laughs> Μαλακό υγρό, ανάμεσα στο σώμα, σκάβει τρύπε. Μια όμορφη συναρμογή, αόρατα άοσμα αέρια, σαν ψήλη και σαν θηρία, επίπεδα διάνοιξη. Η αντίληψη αλλοιώνεται μέσα στα αμνιακά υγρά και η ύλη διακορεύεται από του ψήλου. Τα νερά που έρνουν τα περιοριστικά φράγματα επαναφέρουν τη σχέση μα με τα αμνιακά υγρά και φαντάζουν ανίερα και καταστροφικά. Χρόνο νερό. Διαλύει, ρέει για πάντα, επαναλαμβάνει, ξεκινάει, ξεχνάει. Συγχρονίζεται, ξεσυγχρονίζεται, γίνεται καταράκτης, εξατμίζεται. Μας θυμίζει ότι είμαστε άγρια ζωή, ξαναξεχνάει. Η στιγμή που έγινε κύμα πέρασε, ξεπέρασε, ξέχασε, ξανά. Χρόνος νερό. Ο τυφώνας διαλύει τις σημαδούρες. Μια χαοτική φιλοσοφία περιορίζεται από την σημειακή διομορφία. Ο ωκεανό στο σπίτι των θαλάσσιων όντων και της άγρια ζωής κουβαλάει στα κύματά του αμνιακά υγρά και ονειρόξει. Η πηξίδα συγχρονίζεται με το βορρά, ξυπνώντας την καταγωγή σου. Κάθε φορά που καταδίωμαι στη θάλασσα, καταδίωμαι στα αμνιακά μου υγρά, στην καταγωγή μου, στην άγρια ζωή μέσα μου. Διαλύω τις ζώνες περιορισμού που με τόσο κόπο δημιούργησα για να προστατευτώ από την ανίαρη οικειότητα του καθημερινού. Διαλύω με μέσα μου, μαζί με τους καταράχτες, τους τυφώνες, τα φράγματα, τα άμορφα κύματα και άλλα αναχώματα που έχω δημιουργήσει, αποκαλύπτοντας να είναι η ροή που δένει όλα τα σώματα νερού.